You know, there are so many people becoming YouTube ranters these days, it's hard to keep up with what's what. So, follow these tips, and you'll be sure to fit in. My diamond wig, knocking me down onto the platinum ground. Woke up in a beautiful dream. Make rants about things that a majority of people will agree with. If no one disagrees with you, that means you get lots of positive reception, and that means your channel will grow! You know, if you just can't think of a topic to use, just stick with atheism! I promise no one ever has made a video saying that there's no god while showing basic scientific knowledge that they probably learned through the internet. Oh, I'm just kidding. Lots of people have done that. Here's an example. Warning, this may cause copious amounts of personal responsibility. Sane outbursts supported by facts. Uncontrollable urge to contradict idiots. Loss of gullibility. Realization that you've been lied to. Ability to discern fallacy. Increased frustration in dealing with those who still are afflicted with theism. As you can see, be as condescending as possible. That gets your point across and it makes people that are opposed to your opinion listen to you. As a bit of an addition to that last part, make sure you talk about very trendy topics. Also make sure that you try and sound as bored as possible, because if you care about a topic, it's probably not a very trendy topic and you shouldn't make a video about it. And if you can't be bothered to actually find out which topics are trending on YouTube, just become a news broadcaster. You know, make videos ranting about Ray William Johnson and then make fucking videos about how someone's trolling PewDiePie fans. Oh, my bad, you're not the same as Ray William Johnson. You said, you got owned, or wow, you guys are falling for it. That's original. Danny Lovato, you got owned. And if that news broadcasting thing isn't working for you, and if that trendy topics thing isn't working for you, just try to garner sympathy from others. Just make sure you don't make any videos like this before you do so. This is how I am able to think rationally about things, you know, and you just follow the fucking crowd. Because then, that would make saying something like this... Why am I such a bad person for wanting to be, you know, not like everyone else, okay? A bit silly. Are you sitting comfortably? Then we'll begin. Now, there are a few ways to go about doing your rants. One way is to be as boring as possible. Act like you're lifeless. You're essentially brain dead, but you're still talking about a certain topic. Cartoon porn and Rule 34. I've seen some things. I'm not going to go into detail of what exactly I saw. Alternatively, another kind of ranting is to be as forced as you possibly can. Because showing as much emotion as you possibly can also makes a very good video. I mean, it totally seems like it's very natural. It's coming from the heart. Oh, wow! Nobody agrees with anything you have to say, and this is your fucking apology. <laughs> if you feel that projecting your voice and just wiggling your hands around isn't enough, wave your arms. You see, that really adds to the emotional aspect of the video. Now, in some rant videos, you just need to expand your vocabulary. Just, uh, don't throw in a few big words here and there. Make sure you use many big words in a row. The most deplorable, repugnant, more onyx shit that's out there today. Some look like even more of a dumbfounded, a gate-mouthed simpleton than before. That shows that you just look them up on Google to find out their definition, and it'll make you look much, much smarter. If you want people to know that you dislike something or someone, you should probably make video after video, countless videos, about said topic. People will flock to your videos after seeing that you've made so many, and then just kind of stick to you. Furthermore, if you make lots of baseless claims about something, let's say, mm, Smosh is scam, then lots of people will also flock to you and cling to you, because, you know, if you're not going to do any research, then they're not going to do any research. And then you have yourself a nice little army. This is the final tip. A lot of ranchers like to have really cool, flashy outro suit videos. Make sure you use the uh, default Sony Vegas media generated, you know, fuzzy image. Put one of your older videos to the side. To the other side, put a picture of yourself, maybe some text. 
and then the background music should be something that's a hundred thousand decibels louder than the actual video, causing your viewers to go deaf. And that's it. If you can do all of these, you'll definitely make it with all these different ranters. Come on, it's, it's that man again. <laughs>